we'll see how to use display filters with a hands-on experience by answering some of the questions we are using triplea.pcap that is downloaded from sample captures that we can find here which is which is there in which is available you can search either triplea.pcap or uh, that is the yeah go to the sip and rtp here it is so we are using that file and uh, the goal is to answer these questions by using the knowledge you have gained uh, so how can we answer these questions by mostly we, we either use display filters use the statistics and analyze when menus in the wireshark so some of the it is also required to understand prerequisites are some of the understanding about the OSI model, PCP IP model, and uh, the how protocols are structured, and uh, little knowledge about some of the protocols. But uh, when you are analyzing unknown protocols, it is not necessarily that you should be aware of. In uh, you should, it is not necessary to understand uh, to know in and out of a protocol that you are analyzing, because uh, so that is a point here using Wireshark you can also learn as you analyze. So what is the first answer, first question, how many? So I have opened that packet, opened that uh, PCAP, downloaded clear.pcap here in this Wireshark. So what is the first question here? How many application layer protocols are using TCP service and how many are using UDP? You know that in a TCP IP model or OSI model, in a OSI model, which layer is the TCP or a UDP, they present in a fourth layer. The first is a physical, second is data link layer, third one is network layer, fourth one is transport layer. And uh, so we have the uh, session layer, presentation layer, application layer. And uh, in a TCP IP model, we combine all of them and we call it as a application layer so application layer application processes that run in an application layer use the service from tcp where data from the application layer is encapsulated into the tcp so tcp layer provides a service uh, for a process to process communication to the application layers so uh, there are different protocols in application layers anything like a dns http ftp uh, Samba that uh, and uh, uh, in Active Directory also there are different protocols that NetBIOS so all of these are application layer protocols they have to use either of these transport layer service transport layer protocol either TCP or UDP the question is uh, how many are using TCP and how many are how many protocols are using how many application layer protocols are using TCP how many application layer protocols are using UDP? So I want, I don't want here, I'm not asking. So if you want a UDP, how many UDP packets are there? You can simply search UDP, sorry, type UDP in that uh, uh, display panel, display filter. So you will get that count here. We have 590 UDP. And if you want TCP, just uh, type TCP and you can see here 57 are TCP. 57 are TCP packets. That is not the question here. I want, so what is the protocol here? See here, what is the protocol? What do you see the protocol here? Which is a FTP. FTP is a file transfer protocol. That is a protocol you use if you want to download a file from any site. File transfer protocol is used to download the or upload files. So here we have the ARP. And we have a NBNS, and uh, there is a DNS, and there is a RTP. SIP protocol is there. SIP SDP is there. DNS is there. I want those protocol names. How many protocols are there in this file that are using TCP service? How many are there in a there in this file that are using UDP? For that, what we can do? Uh, see, I can't properly uh, filter that using a display filter. 
I can either see whether it is a TCP or whether it's UDP by typing that protocol. For that, what I can do, I can go to statistics and their protocol hierarchy. There I can see how many are using the address resolution protocol is some special protocol ARP which sits in the middle of a both IP and a data link layer because it is the it is a resolution service used to resolve the uh, IP address as a physical address MAC address so leaving that how many are using UDP how many are using TCP you can see this I can uh, if I this is the, these are the statistics that why shot created to make our life free, uh, easier so i can see here the only ftp protocol only one protocol is using tcp here in this capture and how many are there here see netbios netbios is having you see samba server message smb this is used in active directory okay so when you when you share files using active directory windows share okay so they use uh, different protocols okay and uh, if you are using a uh, private key infrastructure certificate revocation list and such like that there are different protocols but here you see here there you can see samba mail slot protocol see these are the protocols again it is a protocol it is having other couple of protocols inside that and it, inside smb there is a smb mail plot and inside that you can see here microsoft browser protocol so this is used by uh, samba datagram service it is a uh, used by active directory the microsoft anyway so we don't want the we are not counting this these are uh, encapsulated into this protocol so so how many protocols are using udp here one which is a sip protocol second one rtp third one rtcp and netbios name service netbios datagram service dhcp dns and the data this is a data this is not a data inside a, in a data pure data is sent over the udp it, it is identified as a the ARP is address resolution protocol is not a transport layer protocol. Okay. ARP is works in a both layers, data link layer and the internet layer or network layer. So application layer protocols are encapsulated into either UDP or TCP. How many protocols are uh, there that are using TCP? Only one. How many are there that are using this UDP? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Right? So UDP, so our answer is TCP one UDP seven. And what is the next question here? Yeah, here do, do you understand this one? What are these diff different protocols here? Just before we move, do you understand different protocols? You may not know some of them, but uh, you see, just an initiation protocol which is used in a telephony. Telephone means uh, to to if you are speaking with someone over the internet using WhatsApp, Skype, or uh, even Zoom, the their SIP is used, and the RTP is used to transfer uh, audio RTP RTCP. NetBIOS is like a DNS, NetBIOS da datagram service here, and then we have a DHCP protocol, DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. We have learned about that that is used because you don't want to configure if you have many systems you don't want to statically configure uh assign ip address to all of them so by default dhcp is the enabled even a home network such that when you connect with wi-fi you get the ip address automatically and you have the dns protocol so these are all 
different protocols and what is the next question here how many packets are accounted for a ARP so how many packets are there with the uh, that use ARP protocol which is simple search ARP and you see here those many packets here 44 such a simple question but that is hard if you don't know yeah so so here less than tell me how many packets are there with uh, ttl time to live less than 54 ipv packets so if you want to cancel this uh this expression hit and hit cross here and then can you are you verify do you see all of the packets here yes we can see so the question is how many packets are uh, there with the time to live less than 54 so what i can do here i can either go to protocol protocol go to analyze and go to the display filter expression and there we land these are all different protocols that Fireshark he is aware of endless protocols are there so what you are doing you want ipv4 okay or ip so do you see that protocol here is ipv4 internet okay and what you are uh, what you are searching for ttl is the what is ttl we learned about ipv4 packet packet structure packet header header ipv4 header format or header structure and it has a ttl we learned that is decreased by routers every time it is forwarded by the any router so right the first header first header contains for ipv4 header uh, just let me so little knowledge about uh, ipv4 packet format and here is the packet the first one is the general information version header length type of service total length. and next to next word is about the we land each each uh, row contains a four byte word Next word is about fragmentation and then you have TTL, which stands for time to live. Right? So, yeah. So that field, we are, we are, we want that field. Okay. See, this might be confusing. See, TTL is there. Can you see? Time to live. Right? And, uh, so, uh, uh, what what uh, what operator do i need is present like not equal to less than less than or greater than so less than less than i need a less than and uh, which is 54 okay if you see green here which is a valid expression and hit okay and uh, see you still see 100 percent so you prepared expression but you did not run that hit enter to run that how many are there Wait. right Wait. so what is another way check that time to live here go to the ipv4 protocol and can you see time to live 47 here can you see so it is coming from where coming from internet can you see the source which is a public ip okay from internet somewhere it is coming to the it is destined to the some computer in the lan got it so it traveled traveled so based on time to live also you can say you can check how, how long it travel so what is another way to filter this okay let's say quickly you jump to the ipv4 protocol here and you, you have the packet time to live 
can you see i selected 55 so uh, i see this 55 i i wonder if there are any packets here uh, that are less than 55 you can right click here and simply go to the go apply filter selector or prepare selector remember that if you prepare it doesn't run it will update that display filter if you apply the filter it will just uh, prepare it will put that filter in the display filter in input and it will run that filter. can you see how many are there with the time to live equal to 55 there are 31 but i want time to live less than 55 there are okay so so because uh, because if you, if you go if you come come across the here ip that it might be confusing because if you are working with some protocol that you don't understand you don't know what expression exactly this would be fragment error okay fragment this these names you you may not know for that reason we may go go to uh, analyze and filter expression here you can prepare the filter expression but uh, sometimes uh, you know you may not be it is even easier if you have this uh, packet details open it is even easier if you have with this packet details you can directly go okay right click and time to leave 47 okay select and you can see okay let's say i want the time to leave that is uh, greater than 47 and you can combine multiple expressions like this and ip dot ttl less than some yeah, 55 or let's say 65 how many are there 160 okay so now we answered that so what is something odd about the dns query id so there's something odd okay you need to find out what is that with the dns queries of id 0x e to ef so dns what dns uses dns is on is a protocol on top of udp if you go to any dns what do you see here in a domain name system udp which is on top of udp can you see that here okay so udp is a connectionless protocol it's just sense of we have seen when we learned about udp unlike tcp that is a forms a virtual environment of a uh, which which looks like a pipe where a stream of bytes are transferred over that uh, virtual connection but here in the udp there is no connection it is just throwing out and assuming that some uh, the receiving and receiving party will get that it is just like a throwing a catch right throwing a ball and uh, uh, with the best effort that assuming other person will catch that ball right so that is that is the best example what is the what we in a cricket throwing a ball is like a udp right and uh, so traveling to him and you know shaking uh, his hand three times and giving handing over the ball is like a tcp okay so so what do i need there is a here this question might be complex how do you how do you get this thing answered there is no frame number here okay there is no frame number so let's say that if you want to go to the frame uh, there is no frame number how to how to get that thing also do you have any ideas any ideas what 
question question here is a question what is something odd of id this one See, don't worry if you are using y shock you, it doesn't mean that you have to be aware of all those protocols it doesn't mean that if you are if you are troubleshooting a protocol you don't need to know in, in and out about that protocol you don't have to you are using y shock because you don't know okay so the thing is that uh, first what you can do go to any of the dns protocol sorry dns and open dns you see something here transaction id can you see this so immediately you can get you can get an idea what if so you there is a specific transaction id mentioned there so you can you can you can simply what you can do filter a dns request using that transaction so why this transaction id is maintained in a dns because this is a connectionless protocol uh, when a dns query is made by the dns client or resolver it uh, puts the uh, unique transaction id when dns response came back to that server that sorry that client it will check the transaction id and matches the matches with the corresponding dns query it sent matches with the corresponding transaction id of the dns query it sent so that uh, it assumes that consider that as a uh, response as a reply or answer for the dns query it made with that corresponding transaction id so what you can do you can simply so just you found this transaction id instead of going to uh, analyze and uh, display filter expression constructing from there and you can simply right click here and apply as a filter selected can you see here now do, do you follow yeah you you go to see a selected random dns right click down that field you can right click on any field and you can apply according to that field value okay so it simply what it did filtered based on that but i don't want to since i don't want to run this random packet i found i don't want to run that filter so in such a case what i can do i can use the prepare as a filter selected so it will not run that filter it will just prepare it will prepare that filter so that i can edit so what is that transaction id 0 x e to ef right e to ef so what is something wrong with this uh with this dns query i filtered yeah so by, and uh to further analyze what you can do go to statistics and there is a flow graph okay and it, it will show everything but you can filter limit filter using the packets limit according to the display filter so if you check this you will see only packets so what do you see here what do you see here the first request it sent didn't get the reply second request it sent didn't get the reply and third request sent and then after got the reply so it it is like after that's after some timer it didn't get the response so got the so it is like a, it is it is what the udp is do you understand okay so i asked uh, so so didn't get the timely reply so that uh, client had to make up the couple of other dns requests okay
so because i i've uh, so yeah this question uh you asked how do how did i take that uh, in yeah yeah so there are yes yes so there are multiple uh, transmissions retransmissions you can go here you can go to the flow graph okay and there also you can see this flow graph is very powerful and there you can see here okay if there are multiple transmissions and you can simply hit the dns okay and filter using dns and there okay go to where is it flow graph yeah here it is okay and there you can see retransmissions whenever the okay so sorry limit using display filter and there you can see right queries first and responses got it and there is one more thing you can go to this go to this click on this one and there you will get a quick overview about this is expect information window can you see bottom left corner click on expert information and there you can see that if there is any warning if there is any error uh, information chart everything summarized here you can see that so it shows the warnings what it is showing here you can see here so uh, it's a warning it, it said you see dns query retransmission original request in frame 6 can you see here that way you can quickly identify problems in uh, in any protocol on a network using white shock okay you see there are re three tr retransmissions for this one 0x77a so go there and uh, dns dot id 0x77a you see can you see here how many retransmissions are there four are there one two three four okay so use the expert information window and using that you can quickly identify uh, if there are any warnings or problems so here you see warning warning means something you don't have to worry but if there is an error something that is uh, uh, that is a problem that should be taken care of or, uh, or it needs your attention okay so here you can see there are how many one two th this is the initial initial request but how many retransmissions are there one two three and the one more thing you can check here time okay so here go to here what it is a relative time can you see here 932 yeah I think we can finish uh, uh, quickly in 10 or 15 minutes if you okay. I'll wrap it up so okay you you found this right uh, there are retransmissions that is a problem so what is it what is the problem here dns retransmissions okay and what is how many dns queries are made with the srv record made for a how many dns queries are made for a uh, srv record so so what you can do here go to dns okay so if you go to standard standard query can you see here srv info hmm? so i want to count all of the queries that are made with for the srv record what i can do i can go to dns 
and uh, here is a query and here is the type so i can simply select go to the type apply as a filter right filter selected how many are there 237 okay and how many are there with the uh, a, a record srv means service okay for a service record uh service selection and uh, a is for the ip ip address so that way i can select or there is a better way you can go to statistics click on the dns we got the 237 right there you check this one statistics and there and you see here srv record 237 ipv4 for a record 26 same answer we got right 237 here 26 or 20 so let's let's uh i don't know how what code it is for the type for a record what i can do i can go there's yeah i selected here with okay so here is the a record i can say we can filter using a right click apply as a filter select can you see here 26 there are multiple ways and uh, so other one is a uh, is ftp a passive or active connection so we haven't uh, you if we don't know about ftp protocol ftp protocol works in a, uh, both t uh, active in a either active mode or passive mode we'll see in detail about what is active mode what is passive mode. but here we want to find out uh, which mode this ftp is used so for that the, which protocol it is without thinking anything go on filter ftp protocol ftp okay which is a protocol on top of tcp and there you can see some information and there using this information itself you can uh, say it is a passive you can conclude it is a passive okay or you can click on anything and go right click follow tcp stream and there you will see whole information that is exchanged between client and server blue one is a client uh yeah so other one is a uh, other one is a uh, yeah sorry here uh blue one is a server red one is a client okay okay so yeah go to go this one go to the flow graph tcp there is that one follow tcp stream and there you can see whole information okay so there you can see here passive mode right where passive uh, so based on that you can say which mode it is passive and what file the client try to download here the same thing here you can go to information and there you can see here you can see the base based on this information which file it tried to download site stat.xml okay so you can go right click follow tcp stream and you can see the whole information exchanged over the tcp so of course you don't know what is going on here in this ftp uh, but uh, when you come here you can see that entering passive mode okay so server is telling so entering passive mode and uh, uh, so client is asking retrieve site stat.xml 
but server replied no such a file or directory with the 550 code okay so question is what file the client tried to download here site stat dot okay so next one next couple of questions are there here uh what is a f uh what what is a frame the last frame number of tcp okay here probably i wrote this thing multiple times what is a last frame number of tcp connection here down of ftp connection okay of ftp ftp connection so ftp is a ftp is a protocol over tcp so which means that first tcp protocol should be tcp connection should be made right for any 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 application layer protocol that is using tcp requires a tcp protocol tcp connection three way handshake first and then uh, that up uh, that uh, uh, application protocol data flows so here the, if you search for the tcp ftp okay you see ftp packets only 29 total so what i what do i want right click here so i want the i want all see you don't see here tcp packets connection made and uh, connection closed okay this is a this is a data only what you can do you can right click and go to follow tcp stream and uh, escape you will see everything and escape and uh, that will automatically apply this uh, expression to display uh, all tcp uh, packets related to that particular stream so you can see here now 46 including the tcp packets so you can see first what do you see here connection establishment can you see three-way handshake these are retransmitted okay so three-way handshake can you see here the first this is called three-way handshake and then uh here also you can see that these are retransmitted okay uh but okay and then this is a data connection after connection established data flowed flowed through that and uh, see this is a fine egg okay so here let's let's uh, filter these these are unordered so that you don't see them properly so you can filter using this uh, frame number so that way you can see these properly okay you can see here finac can you see and what is the last packet number 94 okay from server to client and what you can do you can go to statistics flow graph filter using this display filter and there you can see here what's going on can you see the first client made a request this is a three-way handshake first client makes a request and server is replies with the okay i received here is the acknowledgement and client sends the acknowledgement again so three times it exchanges uh, synchronized acknowledgement and acknowledgement so it is called three-way handshake and and then uh, connection is established here is the actual data that is uh, regarding ftp do you understand okay and then finally when connection is closed uh, client sent a fin fin which is a, when we discuss in detail we will understand these uh, all flags state but finish means finish the close the connection server client requested server replied okay i'm okay i have received everything so we can close the connection so uh, so client also send okay i'm also i have also received everything i'm also okay with closing the connection after that server also replied okay if you want to close if you are fine i'm also fine since let's close the connection and send the acknowledgement remember if you send the letter to someone 
how do, in a olden days how do you know uh, your your lent your letter reached uh, that person or that agency they will uh, they will reply back with some acknowledgement letter so in a, in a olden days if you want to send a letter to some of the agency that if you let's say any any agency or college so you can send a letter to that organization once they receive they re, they re, they they will post another letter to the sender's address that is called as acknowledgement letter when, when there were no phones do you understand when, when there were no phones so when when you send a letter to let's say your university that is located some in different state so that will take uh, let's say one week to go there and uh, how do you know that uh, so you don't know that whether that whether that letter is reached those that university or not unless you go in person and check that and ask them whether you received a letter in, in such a case instead of posting letter you can directly go there and hand over your letter so in those days what they do once they receive the letter they will they will put the acknowledgement they will write the acknowledgement letter saying we have received so on so and then we they post that back to sender address so you will receive that after one week so means after two weeks of sending assuming okay if you receive that is so that you can consider your letter is reach that destination that way here also this acknowledgement is used okay once if that acknowledgement is not received that packet will be retransmitted okay and uh, so how many how many SIP packets are there with uh, there okay that are having invite either in header or data see you can SIP you can filter using here is the invite I'm not this is not about the header invite there is a header message zip zip dot method invite you can apply as a filter selected so how many are there 22 but if you want to set something that has an invite, no matter whether in a header or somewhere, what you can do, contains is there. Okay, you can use contains also. Okay, so the simple example is that what is a packet name? So simple example is that frame contains site stack. Site can you see this okay what is a frame number frame number that has site that dot xml so it is it is it is searching whole whole frame it doesn't matter whether it's header or data which layer it is whether it is an internet layer transport layer file FTP application layer so you can contains means anything you me doesn't matter which layer you will search so filter anything that has this phrase this word okay this is 82 82 84 we are done we have only one question how many SIP packets are there here? We answered that 26 or 27. Twenty-two, right? Ah, the last question. What is the IPv4 checksum of frame 34? 35. So we can remove everything and you have hundreds of frames you don't have to go through that each frame counting this frame number what you can do you have a frame dot 
number equal to equal to 35 that way you can filter the frame and select particular what is what do what do you want here checksum header checksum which is you can right click copy value which is 2692 okay so this is about how do you use the y shot to troubleshoot filter understand length and uh, display filters are very powerful and two menus that y shot is having analyze statistics telephony also these are very powerful you can do a lot with this